Beyond its scenic woodlands and waterfronts, our New Hampshire seacoast is more than just its beauty. It's one of the most important tidal estuaries on the East Coast, a critical breeding ground for the Gulf of Maine's phytoplankton, and a habitat for seals, eagles, osprey, and over 60 species of waterfowl, shorebirds, and wading birds. And worth mentioning, we live here too. Hiking, boating, fishing, a resurgent oystering industry, the seacoast provides an outstanding lifestyle which we must not take for granted. Interruptions to this scenery and serenity are few for now. Pease International Airport is being considered for a cargo port that could be as large as three quarters of a million square feet with unrestricted 24-7 cargo jet activity. Under FAA regulation, once an airport is approved for cargo use, the number of flights cannot be limited. This will have a ripple effect. Such an increase in air traffic and its attendant infrastructure will bring increased air, light, and noise pollution to the seacoast, to the detriment of our health and local ecology. For our neighbors, aircraft noise negatively impacts healthy sleep, inhibits childhood development and reading, decreases cognitive performance and increases stress, can impair hearing and raise the risk for cardiovascular disease. Like diesel, toxic jet fuel emissions increase air pollution, and exposure at airfields and surrounding residential areas has been associated with increased risk of disease, including immune suppression, airway inflammation, and cardiovascular conditions. For our wildlife, noise pollution harms communication and reproduction in birds, fish, mammals, among others. Light pollution can similarly threaten the habits, reproduction, and migration of animals and plants. Air freight is the least carbon efficient form of shipping, making the climate cost of this proposal an obvious concern. New development in the Seacoast region should prioritize sustainable initiatives. It doesn't stop at the airfield. Cargo will need to make its way through our roadways and neighborhoods by truck, extending this noise and air pollution far beyond the airport itself. These costs to our communities are weighed against the potential economic gains, but the most important benefit, job creation, is difficult to forecast and will likely ring hollow in an industry increasingly dominated by automation. The Pease Development Authority, which oversees these projects, is required under the statutes of its charter to consider the quality of life in the seacoast as it explores commercial development for the airport. So please, preserve that quality of life. Don't erode it. Consider your neighbors, your communities, and your environment, and reconsider these proposals. Thank you.